The last thing that I have to uh, share with you guys is another very fun color relationship exercise that is maybe not quite as complex as the landscape. So this one involves um, just a fun design that um, we can learn about color theory, about color relationships, and how they work to create a really eye-catching design. So this is especially fun if you do it with a few other art students. So if you are doing this video with some siblings or if you're doing this in a classroom setting, this is really fun to show and share all together. So um, let's talk about the next step in our color relationship exercise. Our last color relationship exercise for today is going to be to make some Kandinsky circles. Now Wassily Kandinsky was a very awesome modern artist and I would love to share some history with you about Kandinsky. So find a link about the history um, associated with Kandinsky's artwork um, attached in the description of this video is you will need to make some small squares four. of paper four. Four. we have four each but really if you just want to keep this simple one is enough Kandinsky did these beautiful pieces of artwork where he had concentric circles um, that were all sorts of different colors so you can use a pencil and you can um, create a small center circle. Doesn't have to be very precise. Again, we're painting these circles and rings. And then around that circle, you're going to build some rings. Remember, whatever you draw, you will have to paint. So don't commit to more than you're willing to paint. Once you have finished your drawing of the squares with circles, I want you to decide what color relationships you are going to explore inside each one of your rings. Are you going to use complements? You can start with a green and just go green, red, green, red. You can do that. You can choose to do a warm color square with all the different warm colors inside of the rings. You can choose to do a cool color with all sorts of cool colors in the square of rings. You can choose to do analogous colors and make each one of the rings a color that blends like the color of the rainbow. So your final color relationship challenge today is to take these squares and to paint them according to one of the color relationships you've learned about today. And if you have a great little collection of them, you can decorate a really fun space on your wall. You can make a really fun Wassily Kandinsky uh, modern art piece. So you can arrange them however you want to, all different ways. Um, but uh, Wassily Kandinsky's color relationship uh, pieces have a really neat look when they're all completed.